Welcome back to Life with the Spectrum. I'm your host, Gina Cavalli, and one of my main goals is to connect people with great organizations and people right here in Atlanta. And I'm so grateful that Liz Fennig, the director of programs at the Tommy Nobis Center, has joined me today. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm great, Gina. Thank you for having me. So what's the good word over at Tommy Nobis? We are, man, there are just things moving and shaking and happening. We've got um, some programs that we've had in place that we are just doubling down and making sure that uh, the persons we serve with disabilities are really being served. And we are um, really excited that we have some new initiatives that are underway and getting started real soon. Well, Liz, let's kind of go backward in order to go forward. For people who don't know what Tommy Nobis is or the center, could you give us a little bit of history behind Tommy Nobis Center? So Tommy Nobis Center, we are actually celebrating our 45th year this year, and our mission is employing people through uh, empowering people through employment. And what that means is we are working with both youth and adults so that we can help them find meaningful employment. So we are working with them to provide skills training, um, offering them some job coaching and job placement services so that we can make sure that they are finding meaningful employment um, and can live their lives how they want to. And Tommy Nobis, why everyone might think of the name is because Tommy Nobis was an Atlanta Falcon. Correct. Yes. So 45 years ago, we were founded by three people, uh, Joyce Slaughter, Bobby Knopf, and of course, Tommy Nobis. And so Joyce and, uh, Slaughter had a daughter who had a disability, and Bobby Knopf was a special education teacher. And the two of them joined together to uh, identify ways that they can serve persons with disabilities after high school. And Tommy Nobis has had such a huge passion for working with people with disabilities that it was just a natural coupling that he joined, um, and they all came together to start the Tommy Nobis Center. Liz. Uh, how does the Tommy Nobis Center actually work with people to become more employable? Yeah, so one of our biggest programs that we have right now is our youth services, and it's actually called EYES, which is short for Early Youth Employment Services, and it's a two-fold program. So during the school year, we actually have very highly trained instructors who are going into all of the local schools um, in here in Metro Atlanta, and they are providing curriculum that's focused on uh, readying our youth, so our high school students, for employment once they complete high school. And then when we have our school breaks, so for instance, February break, spring break, and then of course during the summer, we offer um, a very immersive and robust program where students can come every single day to our program and they have the opportunity to not only learn some educational components, but then they're also trained on different work skills um, and they just have a blast at the same time. You know, no, no kid wants to spend their summer break or spring break learning and just being, you know, going to school the whole time. And so we make it in a way that it's super exciting and, and fun for our students to come every single day. And from what I understand through a mutual friend, they actually get paid for it, don't they? Yes. So students who come on site to our um, actual Tommy Nova Center facility uh, this past summer, they were working every afternoon for a couple of hours and they did earn a paycheck with some of the work they were doing. How terrific is that? And where do the instructors come from again? So all of our instructors at least have a bachelor's degree. Um, many of them are, are uh trained and educated in special education. So some of them have come from the special education field right. um, and just have a passion working with the students that we uh, offer services to. That's terrific. And I understand that if someone is interested, let's just say in an astronomer, like they want to be in an astronomer or this person is interested, that you guys actually go out and you speak with businesses that can possibly employ them later down the road if you don't already have them as a resource. Yes, and that's what meaningful employment is, that it's making sure that whatever career or job path an individual wants to go down, we help them get as close to that as we possibly can. So in the example you gave, perhaps we won't be able to get them to a point where they are an astronomer, but maybe we could connect them with TELUS Museum and they could work in the planetarium or offer some, you know, some instruction at the museum so that we can get them as close to their desired job goals as we possibly can.
I'm speaking with Liz Fennig here, who is the director of programs at the Tommy Nobis Center. I understand there's a very big new initiative coming up. Tell me all about it, Liz. Huge. So we have taken our strategic plan where we are focusing on education, training, and employment, and we are really compiling all of that into what we're calling the Academy. And um, the exciting thing with the Academy is that we are going to be offering three months of really immersive education for our participants, so they would be coming to our site for three months, Monday through Thursday, all day, to gain wow. all of this education needed. Wow. Uh, once they complete those three months, we're going to um, connect them with an internship for up to three months. So again, it just depends on what their, their work desires are. So we want to make sure that that internship is as closely connected to their job goals as possible. When you say immersive education, can you give me an example of like a day in the life? Sure. So um, not only are we providing just straight education in terms of doing, um, you know, general lectures, but we're also having our students who will go on outings. So they will go to local community employers so that they can learn all the various um, jobs that exist within one employment site. So, you know, you think about any location, think about Tommy Nova Center. We have lots of teammates also with disabilities who are working in front desk. They are working in administration. They were working with payroll. They are working with finance. They, you know, they're working in custodial staff as well. So just like um, any other uh, business that's out there, there's so many different roles within that organization that we try to expose our participants to all the various roles. And when does that academy actually start? Yeah, so our academy is going to be starting in July of 2023. So this coming July, which I know seems a ways away, but we are actually opening up applications on November 1st. So we've got um, a lot of work to do between now and July 5th, but we are working really, really hard to make sure that uh, students and participants and applicants have all the information they need in order to be prepared to start the program in July. Is there a cap onto how many young adults you can have? Uh, what we are looking at right now is we are targeting about 12 to 15 students per cohort. And so what we're looking at is for the next, our fiscal year is July through June. So for the next fiscal year, starting in July, we are going to offer three different cohorts. And then after that, our intent is to offer a new cohort every quarter. So um, this coming year, we'll, we'll be looking at hosting about 45 students um, at most. And then after that, we'll be upwards of about 60 students a year that we, we intend to serve. Just think about all of those great people that you're putting out in the workforce. That's got to give you uh, just a heartwarming smile every single day you see them. We are incredibly excited about this program and in fact we're so excited that we are offering a virtual town hall um, okay. which, which is going to be on Tuesday October 18th at 6.30 and people can just go to our website TommyNovaCenter.org and there's a link where they can register for that virtual town hall and they can learn everything they need to know about um, applying for the Academy as well as what we intend to provide and the one thing that I didn't share with you, Gina, is that um, once our, our participants finish their internship, we will work with them um, for six months or even longer if necessary. And we are guaranteeing employment for every single participant who completes the program. So we are not going to just say, you did your education, you did your internship, good luck. We are going to work with every single participant to make sure they are employed because that's, that's the ultimate goal of this. And that's the thing I wanted to bring up to you. I feel like sometimes everybody can be employable but you can't just drop somebody off because three months later they might not be so it's really important to like follow up back with that person like are you still working are you still getting to work because some people lack the motivation and whatnot or they actually get boots on the ground and they're like oh this isn't for me or i don't think that i can handle it is it something where the tommy nobis center can go back and kind of like come back two months later, three months later and say, hey, Tommy, or hey, Jill, are you still loving your job? What can we do to help? Yes. In fact, the way we are structuring our program is that every single cohort will have its own dedicated employment specialist. And the employment specialist is there for twofold. It's not just for the participant to make sure that they're being successful in their employment, but it's also for the employer. Um, there's a There can be some challenges when you have an employee who has a disability. And so we want to make sure that we're there to support both sides of this so that the, the employment is successful in the long run.
I think that's great. And some of these internships will go on to be paid full-time employees offering benefits. More and more people need to have that inclusive, diverse work culture. And so I love the fact that Tommy Nova Center is launching this program that's going to put people in the right jobs at the right time. This sounds wonderful. So Liz Fennig, uh, Director of Programs with the Tommy Novus Center, how do you guys get your money? We are a nonprofit organization. So we rely on um, various streams of funding to, to keep things going. So um, for instance, our EYES program, we are um, funded through both state organizations, so Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation Agency, but we also do our own internal fundraising through grant writing. And um, we also have a, a very robust car donation program, which some people may have heard some of our commercials on the radio. And um, we also do our own fundraising galas. We have events where we um, participate in Galaxy of the Stars event that's held at the Georgia Aquarium. I was just going to mention that that's coming up in April, correct? Correct. Yes. We have a huge Galaxy of the Stars event at the Aquarium. And then also we are very active participants in Georgia Gives and Giving Tuesday, which is coming up next month, actually. And so we are one of the highest nonprofits that um, does fundraising during the month of November and especially on Giving Tuesday as well. That's wonderful. Do you find a lot of celebrities and other people from maybe the Falcons organization or other big teams here in Atlanta get behind this cause as well? There are some. Um, we've got a great partnership with WSB Atlanta, and so they participate um, extremely, um, they participate a lot in, in some of what we do for fundraising. Um, Dan Reeves, and I know he has since passed, but his family is very connected. And then Tommy Novus and his family is still very connected. In fact, his daughter, Devin, actually is, is a board member and she sits on our board. And so his family has still remained very much involved with the Tommy Nova Center since his passing. Liz, what is the age that someone can start coming over to the Tommy Nova Center? So our Early Youth Employment Services Program is geared for students age 14 to 21. Um, okay. But we also serve adults, and even with the academy, we are serving young adults, and we're not really putting an age limit on there because we want to make sure that if somebody feels that they're appropriate for the program, we want them to apply. We don't want them to think that because I'm a year older than the age cap that they shouldn't apply for the program. We want them to go ahead, and, and we want to be able to consider them for this program as well. Liz Fennig, which is the director of programs over at the Tommy Nobis Center. Can people find you on socials as well? Are you are you guys in social media and showing maybe videos of people on the job or what people can expect? Absolutely. We have a very um, active social media presence through all of the platforms, be it Facebook, which I know is old school for <laughs> us old people, um, I know. <laughs> but then Twitter and Instagram as well. So we, um, we are very active. We actually um, are posting Posting pretty much daily on all of the events and activities that we do within Tommy Nova Center. The Tommy Nova Center celebrating 45 years of empowerment. What would you say is, because you're there at the center right now, what would you say is the best part of your day? Um, changing lives. I've got to be honest with you. You know, we've got an incredible culture at Tommy Nova Center, and we believe in um, we believe in our mission. Every single person that I work with is mission driven, and every single day when we come into work, it's because we all believe in the mission and, and helping people and empowering people through employment. And we know that there is power in having a job. We know that there is um, giving people a sense of purpose being able to wake up every day and go to work. And and um, when you have a disability, it's, it just means that much more to you as well. And so as an organization, I just can't speak uh, more highly about the mission that we hold. And every single person that I work with is driving towards that mission so that we can change lives every day. You know, to go with the best part of your day, there's always got to be a downside too. Has there ever been a person that maybe you couldn't place or that really tried so hard and then just just couldn't do it? There are, and you know, and you probably know very well as many of some of your um, viewers 
know as well is that there are some disabilities where perhaps they may not be able to work and they may not be um, able to hold down a job. But you know, there, there are options and other uh, programs that are out there that are available to give people meaningful um, days. So uh, if people are involved in the COMP or NOW waiver, there are programs such as Community Access Group where they can be amongst peers and have social interactions and still have a purpose every single day. The Tommy Nobis Center, it seems you guys do so many wonderful things for so many people. And I love the fact that you listen to what the young adults say. And if they want to do this, then you try to partner with an organization to get them in. The world of Coca-Cola, I would imagine, is a good one to partner with. Any home-based uh, Georgia company, Home Depot, Emmy Delta, th these are places that people can go and get jobs. And and go on and get benefits too, which is important because over 200,000 people are living with aging parents. They have to be able to take care of themselves once those parents are gone. Correct, correct. And that's a, a, an incredible call to action, Gina, if I'm being honest with you. With our academy and with the internships and with the job placements that we intend to do, that's a great call to action for our local employers because we will be looking for employments and com uh, sites and companies who are willing to host our students for their internship and then look at them for potentially hiring them, as you had mentioned. And, and you know, in a, in a world where DE&I, diversity, equity, and inclusion is kind of the buzzword yes. and all these organizations and corporations are really focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion, we have a great opportunity and we are poised to help corporations meet those goals and not just meet those goals, but really support them in a way that they're successful in meeting those goals. Because we have, we're gonna have a, a group of participants who are gonna come out of our program are going to be highly trained, um, but not just are they highly trained, they're gonna have support so that they're successful and the employment site is successful as well. That's the whole key is success on both sides of the coin. I really love this. So one more time about the Vocational Academy that starts in July, but you're gonna have a town hall when? We are having a town hall Tuesday, October 18th at 6.30, and it's a virtual town hall, and uh, anybody who's interested in joining can register, but just by going to our website, TommyNovaCenter.org, and there'll be a drop down where they can view all the information on the academy and register to attend the virtual town hall as well. And then some younger kids can also get in on the summer programs that you have there, and you can view them all on the website as well, correct, Liz? Everything is there, yes. You can go to our EYES link, which is Early Youth Employment Services, and we have opportunities where we have our February break camp, we're going to do a spring break camp, and then, of course, summer as well. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you had that many camps along with the summer program. Yep. Oh, even better. Talk about opportunities for young people to really start like their journey. You have to start thinking about it now, you know? Exactly, exactly. Liz Fennig, which is the director of programs over at the Tommy Nobis Center. Uh, Liz, one more time with the car donations, can they get that information as well on the website? Everything is there at TommyNovaCenter.org, and there's even an opportunity if you do have a vehicle to donate. You just fill out an online form, and our staff will call directly, and we handle all of the hard work. So if the vehicle is sitting in your driveway and you can't even get it to turn over and run or it doesn't have any <laughs> tires on it, we will send tow trucks out to, to pick up that vehicle and take everything off of your hands. We take all of the work off of you. All we need is a title from your end. Isn't that wonderful? And then what happens? So the vehicle that goes on to either scrapped for parts or auction or whatnot and then Tommy Nobis gets the money gets the money yep and it's a tax write-off as well so it's a win-win for everybody <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone and socials one more time how can people get in touch with you on socials yep you just look up Tommy Nobis Center on either Facebook Twitter thumbs up or Instagram <laughs> we're all there yep <laughs> Very active on social media. I love it. The Tommy Nobis Center has been around for 45 years here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have to think that there are other organizations just like this where you might be living too. So it's really important to hit Google. And Liz, do you know of any right off the top of your head in other cities or states that might be doing something very similar to what you're doing? So Goodwill is um, a, another active participant in assisting persons with disabilities through employment. And so Goodwill is a great nationwide company, so that's something that um, different uh, persons could look up if they were interested in pursuing some opportunities through them.
We just got lucky that Tommy Novus decided with two other people to find this great organization that continues to help people with challenges and disabilities find work and meaningful work and employment um, to go on and just, you know, there's something to be said about when you're doing something that you love or and just doing something every day that gives you purpose. You have a reason to get up. You have a reason to get in the shower. You have a reason to make lunch every single day. And I think that we forget about that when it comes to our friends with challenges and disabilities. So what you guys are doing is so, so good. Thank you. Thank you. We love doing it and we love our mission. Liz Fennig, the director of programs over at the Tommy Nobis Center. Once again, give them a like, a share, a comment. Make sure you're finding them on social media and more importantly, using them for your family in the, in the coming months. That virtual town hall is October 18th. You can get it at TommyNobis.org. And then, of course, all of the different camps. I did not know, Liz, that that there were camps during spring break and whatnot, and then of course in the summer. Yes, yep. We're so excited to be serving our students and our building just comes alive when we have our participants um, just in the building and running around. It's, it's an amazing thing. Thank you so much, Liz, for all of your hard work and for everything that the Tommy Nobis Center is doing. Remember to find them at TommyNobis.org. Gina, thank you so much. It's so exciting to be able to highlight everything that we're doing and the lives that we're changing, and I really appreciate this opportunity. As we continue to navigate our journeys in this crazy thing called life, we want you to like, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe to the show below. I think you'll find that our shows have resources and tools that you can kind of plug into for whatever you and your family are going through at the moment. And until next time, we live life with the spectrum. See ya.